Hey everyone, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today we're gonna make an easy sweet potato casserole using the Instant Pot. So uh, my name is Kristen. I'm Camille. And we are from SixSistersStuff.com. So uh, we have lots of recipes on our website, yeah. oh, close to like 3,000 recipes. Over 3,000 recipes. So here on YouTube, we love sharing with you our tips and tricks yep. with using the Instant Pot. And Thanksgiving's coming around. Yep. And so we thought it would be fun to show you some tips and tricks yeah. and of to course. make it easier as you're cooking that big dinner. Exactly. So let's be honest, this holiday is all about the food. That's why it's one of my faves. So we're gonna show you how to make a sweet potato casserole using the Instant Pot. All right, okay. should we get started? Yep, totally. So we have three huge <laughs> sweet potatoes. <laughs> the recipe calls for six. But it depends on the size. I would say six small sweet potatoes. Yeah, they wouldn't. If there were six of these, they wouldn't. Fit they wouldn't in there. fit. So we have three large sweet potatoes that we're gonna use. <laughs> now, when you cook them in the instant pot, you can cook small potatoes for 18 minutes. Yes. You can cook medium-sized potatoes for 22 minutes, or large potatoes for 27 minutes. We'll put that in the oh, below so that you can yeah. remember that. But well, really fast with that one. So whether you cook one small potato, it yeah. will still cook for the 18 minutes. Yeah. Or if you use 10 small potatoes, it will still only cook for the 18 minutes. So yeah. depending how many you have, it's different than how big they are, if that yeah. makes any sense. Totally. So we were talking that we think in order to shorten our time, we're gonna cut these in half. Yes. Just yes. to make them cook a little bit faster. Let's so we're see. making them into medium potatoes yes. instead of the extra large. So potatoes are hard. Okay, so in the Instant Pot, we put a cup of water in, because you, of course, always need liquid. Then we put the little trivet in. Now there's different kinds of trivets. Whatever your Instant Pot came with, you can use one of those. So we're just gonna put the trivet in, and then we're ready for the sweet potatoes. They're just gonna go right on top of the yep. trivet. So all that we did was wash them. We didn't peel them because after you cook them in the Instant Pot, they are so easy to peel. They just peel right off. So get them all in there. You're gonna have to squish them in. It's okay if you have to stack them, yep, right? Yep, stacking is fine. Now, if you weren't gonna use the Instant Pot or if you didn't have one, yeah. you can make these on the stovetop and mm -hmm. boil the water, but you just wanna make sure you peel the potatoes and then chop, the, chop them up into cubes and then just cook them until they're soft. soft. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, we're just ready to put the lid on. So we wanna make sure that you get that little noise and you turn it all the way. It should be able to seal just like that. Then you're gonna turn this little knob to ceiling. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's not on venting or it won't pressurize. Kristen's taught us all how to use our instant pots. We were all terrified of them. I secretly love them. She was the one who was like, you guys, they're not scary. <laughs> all right, so then we're gonna use the pressure cook button or if you have the other kind of instant pot, it has a manual button, it's the same thing. So pressure cook and manual, same button. You just wanna make sure that it pressurizes. Okay, so after you push the pressure cook button, you're gonna go down, what did we decide to do? Uh, 22. 22, since we did, made them we into- made them medium Medium size. potatoes. Yep. So after you set the timer, you're just gonna let it sit there for a minute, and after a few seconds, yep. it will beep at you and have the beautiful on button. There we go. I was always so confused at this point when I was first using my Instant Pot, because I'm like, I don't want it to be on. Now I want to it to you. I need it to say, warming up. Yes. Coming to pressure. <laughs> so now it I tell is. people. You just don't know. Once you see the on, you can walk You're away. Walk You're away. good to go. All right, we'll let this cook. So once the timer is done, you'll notice there's a little L. That means that it's done cooking, the timer has gone off, and now it's gonna start counting up. So right now we're at a four, which is totally fine. We're gonna do this little knob over to ceiling. Get ready. Woo. Ooh, it's just, there we go. That's why people get scared. It's because it explodes on them. So real fast. Real fast. If you're nervous to do it with your finger, you can always use a spoon to do it so you won't be afraid when it comes. But I can just use my fingers too. What about, can you throw a towel over it? Okay. Instant Pot says, don't throw a towel over it. But I do throw a towel okay, over it. So when, do I. when it starts to like, when you have something yeah, yes, that's, that's starchy, then I throw a paper towel over it so I can just throw it away when I'm done. Yeah. It just so it doesn't spray all over my kitchen. But they said they don't want you to do it because the food can go back in that little knob and it can kind of mess up the inside, so. Maybe that's why mine. <laughs> so if it does, if it starts to spew, just let it release on its own. That's, that was my best advice. If okay. it starts to spew, 
Just let, let it go. Do its thing. All right. All right. So right now we're just waiting for this little tiny knob to go down. That means the pressure's out, and you can open your leg. And usually I'll hear it. Like it. Yeah, you it can makes hear a little. little clink. Yep. And of course the air will start. Yeah. Stop coming out. Oh. oh there it is. All right. Went down. Now we're gonna open it. Okay. Just beware when you open it. It's really steamy. So just watch so your if you hands. So you want an at-home spa experience. Go in. <laughs> just kidding. You can smell the sweet potatoes. All right. We're gonna pull the potatoes right out. Now, like we said before, they literally come right out. Because we are making the sweet potato casserole, this is the perfect way to do it because they are, I mean, we look at this. We want them to be mushy. Falling yep. apart. Yeah, so. they're so soft. Skin is easy to get off. Yeah, I hate peeling sweet potatoes. This is so easy. Okay, so I'm gonna take the skins off and then I'm gonna put them in the bowl. Okay. I'll let you mash. I'll mash, get my work out. Okay, now these are really hot because we literally just took them out. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> What's the best they're way just, to do this? You don't even have to peel them. I know, they just come they right themselves. out. And look, you can just like scrape it off of and the peel. And you know what? I bet mashing is just gonna be a breeze. super simple. Exactly. Yep. If you don't have one of these potato mashers, I love them. I do too. I use it for a lot of things besides just potatoes. When I make jam, I'll do this. Oh, or if that's I have to a mash a banana for banana bread, I'll do that. That's good. Okay, so there's our potatoes. They're all mashed, <laughs> super good. Fastest mashing ever. It really was. So now we're gonna add all the ingredients to make it into the yummy casserole. Nice. Do you wanna spray that yes, pan? Yes, I will. So, so nine by 13 pan. Yeah. That one's a little bit smaller, but it will work. Yep. So I've got three quarters cup of sugar. That's how you know this is gonna be good. Mm -hmm. And then we're also gonna do two eggs. So we just cracked them and beat them. Nice. Before you add them in. That'll be a little easier to yep. mix in. And then we're also gonna add in I believe a one teaspoon, teaspoon of there we vanilla. Go. I love vanilla. I do too. I love sweet potato casserole because it's sweet, but it is a little bit savory. I and agree. We're gonna add in a half teaspoon of salt. Nice. Growing up, I was always so confused why like our mom added salt to cookies and other things. Right. But you can tell the difference when the it salt's not there. It needs that so that you get that flavor depth. Exactly. Okay, is there anything else that goes in here? Oh, the butter, half nice. cup of butter. Okay, and we melted this butter. Yep, melted so it'll just it before. So make it super easy. So now we just need a big spoon. Okay. Give this a good stir, mix it all together. Nice. Oh, this is like one of the favorite things. I know. One of my favorite things to have on Thanksgiving. Same. So using the Instant Pot for Thanksgiving, will not only save you room like on your stove top and other things, but it will just make things go a little bit faster. I hate on Thanksgiving day if you're stuck in your kitchen <laughs> all day. And if you only have one oven and like, oh, like you just, that's there's where the turkey not needs enough to be, appliances. So, yeah. There we go. I know, between my Instant Pot and my slow cooker and my oven and my stove top, like I'm using all of them. And kind of cooking everything at the same time. Yep. Ready for the topping. Okay, so to start out, we're gonna do a third cup of just some white flour. Okay, then we're gonna do one cup of brown sugar. Next thing we're gonna add is just some chopped pecans. About a cup, give or take, just as much as you want. Nice. Okay, so and this is in. one cup, one cup brown, brown sugar. sugar. Okay. And Ooh. the last thing is just three tablespoons of melted butter. Mix that all together. Do you want me to mix it? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, now it's not gonna be like super Liquidy. We want this to be more of like a crumble a topping crumble. that goes on top. And when it bakes, it will be a little bit hardened. Yeah. But that's what Kinda makes it good. Kind of gives it like that candy coating. Right. The best part. Exactly. Everybody fights over the topping. I know. <laughs> and now, if you really want like, more topping, you can double yeah, it if you, you want. Yeah, you could double this. But I feel like this totally is could. a good amount. Yeah. It's good. I agree. So you see how it's kind of coming together, nice and crumbly, and then I just kind of sprinkle this on the top. Okay. I don't really with pour it on. With spoon or with your fingers? I what do you do? I just use my fingers just nice. because I feel like when I pour it on out of the bowl, it's never quite even. Okay. So we could both do this. There you go. I'll put it right in the middle. Yep. Just kind of sprinkle it okay. all over the top. Try to get it all the way covered. Okay. Okay. Ready? This is ready. Yep. Okay. Put it in the oven. Okay. 350 degrees for 30 minutes. Okay. Okay, so 30 minutes and this is baked to perfection. Oh man. Wish you could smell the house right now. <laughs> I know. It's like Thanksgiving cinnamony warm, all the good things. My husband's gonna be excited. I know, this is really one of our favorite dishes. So this is ready. You could keep it in the oven warm until you're ready to serve Thanksgiving dinner. Yep. Um, you could also make it ahead and reheat it. 
before Thanksgiving. Or even before you cook it, just put it in your refrigerator. Yeah. Pull it out when you're ready for it. Yep, cook it when you're ready. Yep, the topping is seriously to die for, but then look how good and fluffy the sweet potatoes look. It looks so it good. It really is the perfect dish. All right, you guys, if you want any more of our Thanksgiving recipes, we're gonna put some links in the description for you of how to cook a turkey, yeah. how to do the sweet potato casserole, and I've made a lot of Instant Pot Thanksgiving recipes. And I'll also link to those who'll be able to make Thanksgiving just, I don't know, a little bit a little easier. Bit easier. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to, tell us what your favorite Thanksgiving dish is. I'm really no, all about the sweet potatoes. I picked this one, you had to okay, pick Okay, fine, dressing, stuffing. <laughs> Is stuffing. it dressing or is it stuffing? I, does it matter? Okay, it's, here's another one. Sweet potatoes or yams? Which one? Sweet potatoes. So anyways, leave a comment, let us know what your favorite thing is to eat for Thanksgiving dinner. And if you want to find more Instant Pot recipes, make sure you check us out every Monday because we are sharing Instant Pot recipes every single week. All right guys, we will see you next time. See you later. Bye.